Okay guys, we got a quick body weight workout that we are going to do today. It will be four exercises for four rounds. We're gonna start right now with a warm up. So, we'll use a timer. And we will start on the ground for some breathing work. Nice so we're gonna do some glute bridge here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my elbows into the ground. My toes are gonna to point up. My feet are about a hand and a half away from my, my butt. And I'm gonna bring my hips through and squeeze at the top for a one Mississippi each time. I am actively driving my elbows down, squeezing at the top. When I'm in this ground position, I wanna make sure that That's my happening. ribs come down here and I bring my hips through without going into my low back. So focus on locking those abs before driving your hips up. Driving those elbows down, that's just gonna activate upper body stuff. So it's just connecting more muscles. Next. All right, so we're gonna go to a half kneeling position. Exercise two. Here. Open up for a adductor rock, keeping the heel on the ground. So we are getting some ankle stuff here as well. And it should be a lot of stretch in the uh, groin area, inner part of the thigh, all that stuff. We'll switch this one halfway. You can push into your knee, get a little extra range, but again, don't let the That's heel halfway. come off the ground. Switch sides. Next. Okay, we're going to stay in half kneeling. Here. Exercise three. So if my left leg is up, my arm's going to come in front. I'm going to rotate over my front leg. So if my left leg is up, my left arm rotates by itself. Right arm stays stationary. Eyes follow the hand, so watch as we rotate back. We're gonna try to open up as much as possible. So if you can get to 180 degrees, that's great. That's halfway. Let's switch sides. And eyes follow that hand as we rotate. Lower body stabilizes so there's no shifting around. Next. All right. We're going to squat to stand next. How this one works is we're going to go about two shoulder widths apart, toes pointed out. From here, I'm going to grab my toes. You can bend the knees if need be. As I come down, I'll let go of my toes to get down into this deep squat position. Push the knees out slightly. Arms come overhead. Drive through the arches of your feet. Repeat that. Toes, drop the butt down, push the knees right out, up. arms overhead, drive through the arches of the feet. Toes, butt, knees, arms, drive. One more. Toes, butt, knees, arms, drive through the arches of the feet. Okay, so next we're gonna do a lunge complex and how that works yes. is we'll just work the one side and we'll switch halfway. Exercise line. So the complex is gonna be three different lunges forward. We're gonna go lateral and then we're gonna go reverse. When we're going through this, we wanna prevent shrugging up into the shoulders through this movement. 
So if you need to, what you could do is keep them loose hands, squeeze those fists coming up from the lunge. That's halfway. Switch legs. Next. Okay. So let's talk about this workout. Four exercises, push-up, bridge, march, side plank, and jump squat. Push-up probably got the most going on. Okay. So of course if you're able to bang out push-ups from the ground in that plank position, great. You know, do that. Uh, keeping the arms in a neutral position. Um, what we'd like to say is the elbows kind of make an A here, not a T. So we want to be in that position here when we're doing our push ups. So, with that said, skip is a board, there's your push up. Now, if we're not able to do push-ups for a full 25 seconds, or if we're still working on getting our first push-up, a couple things we could do. We could start in this plank position here. So start here, keep your butt tight, and we're gonna work the slow lower all the way down. Maintain the plank throughout. However, don't go so slow that this stuff starts to happen, okay? It's okay. That should slow, it's a little quicker. We like that because it works the core a lot more. The knee push-ups work. It's going to be mostly upper body strength. Though. Your core is not going to get much stronger uh, in the knee push-up position. You can do those, but if you want to emphasize core more and uh, probably build up to your push-ups quicker, I would work that eccentric low. Okay, that's just my preference on that. On the bridge march, this will be our second exercise. Just like we did in the beginning of the warm up, bridge here and then adding the march, slow and low. Okay, that's gonna be easier. Okay, so we wanna go small steps, keep the hips up. If you start to fatigue, put the butt down. You can just hold the bridge after we set it works too. Okay? Side plank is going to be nice. Side plank starts on the knees here, making sure the hips stay up and everything is in line. We're not punching forward. We're here. And if we want to level that up, we'll go to the feet. The top leg will stack in front here. That helps keep the hips in line. Okay? If we start to sag, we can always go to the knees. Last is going to be a jump squat or drop squat to finish up. So uh, your jump squat very simply is going to be arms down on the way down, arms up on the way up. Drop squat, bring the feet together, bring the feet apart on the way down. So those are your uh, jump squat, drop squat options. If you don't want to pound at all on the knees, you can go into like a pulse squat variation just for tempo just for speed, okay? We're gonna get rolling here. Those are your four exercises. We're gonna work for 25. We're gonna rest for 15. We're going for four straight rounds. We're gonna go quick. It's about an 11 minute workout, I believe. So get ready for push-ups to start off. Eight, Remember, you can level three, down on all of these, okay? One, exercise one. So here again, if you're- Exercise one. Remember on those slow lowers, we're not letting those hips sink. So squeeze your glutes and you're gonna come down as one unit. And your speed, uh, it just depends on how long you Three, can maintain that two, force. So it may one, be a little quicker and then you'll build up 
by slowing down a little bit more. All right, so we're back to the bridge march. Remember, drive those elbows down. We're turning on One. back muscles. That's just nice too. Here, toes up can help find the glutes a little bit more. Remember, big steps, that's going to make it a little too easy. Smaller is going to be more challenging. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're going to right side, side plank now. So if you're going long, the top leg will stack in front. That three, helps keep two, the hips one, square. Exercise three. Here, stack. This arm can reach if you like. You can stack it here. I always like to keep, again, track of my ribs. Make sure that we're not, that pours off of that. Now I'm loaded up in the low back, so I want those ribs back and nice and tight. Three, knee two, two, you always one, go to the knees. Rest. All right, side plank done. We go up to our jump squat variation. Remember, about the knees, if you don't want the pounding, three, pull two, squats here. One. Good. Leveling up from the pole squats is going to be a drop squat variation where you go feet apart, go down, feet together at the top. Here, boom, boom. Now, if you're doing your regular jump squats, remember to use your arms to help. Meaning, arms go up on the way up, arms go down on the way down. And then, when you start Three, to add two, some height, one, rest. And just like that, we're halfway through. Again, no extra rest. We're getting right back into push-up position. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Start to fatigue. Holding plank works. If you want, you can even go into a low style plank. If you like that better. Three, it's a little easier two, on one, the wrist rest. if you need that variation. All right, bridge number three. In this line position, this three, is where you set your ribs down. So the low back should be, exercise two. for most of us, touching the ground before we bring those hips up. And then you're going in, doing that slow, Low march. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're already back up to our jump squat. We got this, and then one final round. All right, real quick recap. Pull squat. Three, two. One. Drop squat. Exercise three. Regular jump squat. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Last push up. Coming up. This is our last round. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, we're done with the push ups. One down, three to go. Last bridge march. Three, two, one, exercise one. Start hips up, driving down. This may be enough. You can hold this 
for that 25 second mark if this is enough. If you do want to level it up, we'll continue going into that march. Slow and low. Little to no movement in the torso. Three, two, one, rest. Sag it all here. It's okay. Go to those knees and make sure that we're still accomplishing the number one goal here is keeping Three, the hips up, two, everything in one, line. Okay? Rest. It's not going to do us much good if we're sagging on this one. All right, guys, this is your last jump squat. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Next workout.